Hello, welcome back again. Chris Richter here from ricochet.com.au. Hopefully everything's been going well with your Moodle LMS, but I wanted to show you something pretty interesting someone asked me the other day. They were wondering why one of their students could not view a course, even though they had enrolled them in the course. So we're going to have a look at a course and see what the go is, see what the issue is. And by the end of this, you'll understand a couple of the settings that you may need to change to make sure that your students can actually see the course on their homepage. What I mean by that is let's have a look. If we go to our student and our student goes to my courses, there's nothing there. In this case, this student is actually enrolled in a course, but they can't see it yet. So let's look at why that is happening. Step number one is to confirm that the student is actually enrolled in the course. So let's have a look at that by going to participants, scrolling down our participants list, and you will see there that our student that we have for this course is student number two and student number two is enrolled in the course and it shows there that they've never actually accessed the course yet. So obviously they've never seen it. Let's go back to our student view to make sure we are looking at student two. Go to our profile and there we have student, so that's student number two. So that student is enrolled in the course. It's just not showing that they have access to the course yet. Go back to our course, jump into settings, and our very first setting you'll see there underneath this course, we're using Moodle uh, 4.0 on the boost theme. You'll see that if we go into our course settings that the course visibility is hidden. So we need to change that to show. If we make that a show, then that should work. So let's save and display. Go back to our student, go to my courses for our student, and there we have practice course one demo is actually showing and appearing now, which is good. So they can access it and go into the course. So that's perfect. But there could be another reason why the course isn't available for that student. So let's jump back again, go to our settings and have a look in our settings. One of the options here is called the course start date that determines the date of the first week of a course in a week format. It also determines the earliest dates that logs of course activities are available for. If the course is reset, dates will be hidden and all that sort of thing. So at this stage, that's fine. The course date is set quite okay. But what if we have, and this is a course date that's set on the 26th of December. So this is past the date that we're currently on, which is the 17th. So that's okay that that's still there. The course is still shown. It's still visible. They can still log in, but it's not actually officially starting the course, but they can still access it. But what happens if we go to course end date and we enable an end date for the course and we change that to a date before today, so before the 17th of December. So let's make it the 10th, which means we do need to make the start date before that, otherwise it will error. So our course is going from the 1st to the 10th, but it's now the 17th. So let's just save that. And I should have mentioned too that I did tick the box enabled to be able to change those settings in the course end date. Let's go back to our student view. So let's refresh the screen for our student and you can see our student can still, still see that course even though it is out of the start and end date. Now, the reason for that is because a student may have finished their course, but you still want them to be able to access their results at the end of the course date, but they won't be able to submit any activities or do any of the content in there, but they'll still be able to view what's there and check their grades or that sort of thing, which is really important. Now, one reason the student may not be able to see their course uh, in their My Courses view is because of this little button here where it says All in Progress, Future, Past, Start and Archived. Now, if the student has chosen In Progress, it shows no courses because remember that course is now out of the current time frame. The student's no longer progressing or no longer, no longer working on that course because that course is finished. But if they go to future courses again nothing there because that course is out of that time but if they go past courses there's their course now appearing so sometimes the reason for that course missing could be because of the settings they've chosen in their course overview or my courses they may have chosen starred which if none of their courses are starred then obviously they won't appear and also any courses that have been archived where they've been put away for obviously archive purposes. That's the other reason why a student may not be able to see their course. It may be nothing to do with your settings that you changed. It could just be that a student's chosen a different option in their course view. 
So make sure you have a look at that as well if a student's struggling to find their course. They're the two main reasons. The first one being because of the course visibility being hidden, which is obviously going to hide the, the course for you. The second one could be to do with the start and end dates and the option that they've chosen when they viewed my courses in the drop down of whether they've chosen in progress, future, past, start and archived. Hopefully that helps you. You may need to just give your students a bit more information about those settings to reduce that issue of them not being able to find things. Make sure you check out the courses on how to use the Moodle LMS if you are a teacher or if you are a course creator. Uh, they'll be down in the comments there. Hope that's been helpful to you. If you've got any other questions, please let me know. Always keen to help out.